The, the, the first reservoir I ever fished in the Bassmasters was on Lake Lanier. And the guy that caught the lunker in that tournament caught it on a shaky head. He caught a 10 inch spot under a dock and he's reeling it in and a 10 pound largemouth ate the spot and he caught it. That's and it counted as lunker in the tournament. What year was that? Do you remember? Yeah, it was like 1752. <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> that was back in the old days. Now it was 90. I think it was 1995 or 96. Yeah, that's wild. Well, crazy. Yeah. Now it might be the other way around. The spot would eat the little largemouth. <laughs> you know? Now there's still some really big largemouth down there, but you know the spots are the prime. You know, it's it's the bulk of the bass species that's yeah. in the lake. You know, probably 80, 90 percent. And it's and they're and they're just big. They're just bigger than average, and it's pretty pretty awesome and and I know you designed some baits uh, you talk about them uh, you know the the articulated baits that that are so good for spotted bass I see a couple uh, unbelievable looking baits right here tell me about them. thanks man these are actually um, some baits these are the first uh, model of swim baits that my own personal company which is extreme lure creations uh, that we've come out with um, you know long and short of it there's over the years of fishing down on the Herring Lakes, you know, a, a hard body swim bait is something that's become more and more and more popular over the years because the fish, I mean, there's a good population of these spotted bass and largemouth. They just solely focus on hearing. Uh, I'm not saying they won't eat a crawfish or bluegill when they have the opportunity, but they're they are on herring most all the time. And although there's a lot of good, you know, hard baits out there that will catch them, a lot of times you gotta have something you can line really fast. And you know, that's where not only this custom swim bait, but there's a lot of others that, that guys make in the region um, that, you know, that's a prime way to catch them and to catch the big ones. I mean, no doubt about it, especially during the warmer months of the year, you know, from kind of March, April on to like October. You know, don't get me wrong, in the winter time, you might not have as much luck burning a, a really fast swim bait. But those schooling times of year and during the herring spawn and stuff, um, and then again in the fall, it's incredible way to catch them. Um, and it's something that, you know, this bait with a tail is, the bait itself is four, four and a half inches. It's called a 44 mag is the name of the bait. Um, but with a tail, you know, it's a little over five inches. But man, those spotted bass, they come out first year of their life, they're like, they're ready, they're, they're, they're coming. You know, when they start getting around a pound, you know, it's it's blueback, they're eating blueback, so. I remember, um, talking about these baits and the thing that stood out to me was um, the sh you're trying to mimic the straight line flea of the herring as opposed to the real radical Bait, and that's what that's what these baits do, right? 100%. Yeah, this bait right here is designed. I spent many years testing different weight weight uh, configurations and to try to get everything as close to what a real herring looks like in the water. And these baits specifically are not. Um, I mean, they're very erratic. They're not real consistent action. You know, they're you can run them really fast and they'll kind of lean out on one side. You can snap the rod tip, kind of get it to change direction. Bad shoe, folks. Information is poor enough. Over. If you want to learn more about every lake, how to fish, shallow, deep, in between, skipping docks and rocks and cranking, slow wiggling, chatter smattering, you get it at Bash U. Get on Bash U TV, check it out, sign up, be a member, be part of it, folks. Keep learning.